Hey there guys, assalamu alaikum, it's me Nasmus here and welcome to this video. In this video I'll talk about Microsoft Windows 10 and its new uh, rumored new browser called Spartan. Now the rumor originally came from uh, Mary Jo Foley, so all credit goes to her. Um, let's see. Okay, so, um, so Mary Jo Foley talks about that Microsoft is building a brand new browser from scratch and they're calling it, codenaming it, the Spartan, which comes from the Halo video game series by Microsoft. And the new browser, Mary Jo Foley con um, no notes that her sources say that the new browser will not uh, be called Internet Explorer and Microsoft will have Internet Explorer 11 uh, as an optional browser <clears throat> for people who need legacy support, especially the enterprise. So, but most people in Windows Mobile and the desktop versions will use the new browser called Spartan. And this browser will look and work like Chrome, have ex extensions and potentially custom themes. And this is a leaked image of the new browser. And we don't know what it's going to be called yet, but we know that we, there's going to be the current IE version included in Windows as well as this new browser. And um, I and in the screenshot here, we can see that we have an IE icon on the side. So currently, the Spartan the Spartan browser is currently using the Internet Explorer icon, but there's no no yes or yay or nay whether the browser will finally be called Internet Explorer 12 because the current version is Internet Explorer 11. So Microsoft may call it a different name because Internet Explorer has a, such a bad reputation. Even though Internet Explorer 11 is very fast very web, web standard compliant and works pretty well. The fact that Internet Explorer 6, 7, and 8 were very, had a lack of standard compliance and were slow and buggy, actually bloated, uh, it has a horrible reputation. Um, and developer nightmares, people who made website had to did some, do some extra coding to make it work with Internet Explorer. And also, because of, because of this, it broke the web um, in, in terms of standard websites, um, standard technology. Um, Basically, so Microsoft wants to get away from this. Um, it's rumored that Microsoft wants to get away from the bad naming, name branding, and call it something totally different and not worry about Internet Explorer. But I believe this is a mistake. I have, I believe, of all the name from all the name browser names that has there has ever been, uh, like including Lynx, uh, Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, um, Safari. I think Internet Explorer is the best name you could ever have because. It's the only name that lets you actually. It's the only name that lets you um, that actually describe describes what this is because uh, because if Google Chrome does, it's just a name. Firefox, that's a name. But Internet Explorer, this is telling you that the name Internet Explorer tells you this is an application that lets you explore the internet. It's very cool. It has the word internet in it. And it it's very nice. It's like. Let's go on a, to an adventure, find anything we want. Let's explore the grand internet and explore everything, knowledge, entertainment, anything we want. It's a great name and Google Chrome doesn't tell you anything. Firefox doesn't tell you anything. It's like a fox on a fire, I don't, I don't know. I guess the only other name that um, ha had a similar, uh, f similar connotation with it or similar uh, meaning with it is Netscape, so you're escaping escaping to the internet. But even then, it's is it are you escaping escaping from internet? Maybe that might not convey the right message. But Internet Explorer, I think it's a really good name, and it'll be a shame to um, for it to go away. And also the it's the only browser brand that has that it remains from the 90s. I, I would hate to see the final the last ever browser to stop working. Uh, that I mean, all the new browsers are from the 21st century. So, Google Chrome is from 2008, I believe. Uh, Firefox is from early 2000, like 2001 or two. Uh, Safari from is also from early uh, 2003 or four, maybe. But Internet Explorer is actually from the 90s. All other 90s browsers are basically dead um, in terms of main mainstream u usage. There's also Lynx, which came in the I believe in the 80s, maybe. Or 90s, I'm not sure, but that's still around. But you know, that's not mainstream. But Internet Explorer is the only mainstream browser that um, is from the 90s, and the E logo, E with a slash, is pretty neat. I, I really like it. I think this logo right there, 
I think it's very nice. I mean, it's it's the only it's 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 been there for so long. We know this logo f for good or for bad. I mean, you give someone a computer uh, with with uh, and tell them to go to internet. It it could be an old person, young person. They will always know that the E is always the internet browser. So take that away. If Windows 10 comes with a new logo, new name, and you tell someone get on the internet, they'll they won't know that um what where to click. I mean, if if you see the E, you know that's immediately that's the internet. Um, but most people they recognize Google Chrome icon and Firefox icon, but they won't recognize a new Spartan icon. And I don't think it's good to just let go of a brand that's been there so long. I think Microsoft can truly redeem Internet Explorer the name because it's such a good name. It's a really good name. I don't. I would hate to see it go. So let us know what you think. Um, I th I hope they keep the name Internet Explorer. But again, we shall see. The new announcement will come on January 21st of 2015. Um, it's at this time of recording, we, have, we are only 10 days away. This is the January 11th, so we're 10 days away until the big day where we find out more about Internet Explorer 12 or Spartan or whatever it's going to be called. So, goodbye and salamu alaikum.